If you have a vertical monitor in your Arcade 1UP cabinet, you want to flip it. I'll show you how, right now. On a vertical screen, most of your games will be in a very small square. Only a small handful of games will take up the entire screen. If you're modifying your cabinet, you definitely want a horizontal screen. The good news is you can do this absolutely free. This works for all vertical cabinets, such as Pac-Man, Ms. Pac-Man, Galaga, Asteroids, and Space Invaders, which we're working on here. To flip the monitor, first thing you want to do is gut your cabinet. Remove the control deck, monitor, and the loose bits under the control deck. Then pop the screws on one side, lift it off, and up. We have a long, tall monitor, as opposed to a short, fat monitor like we want. This is the way most of our TVs are. This is the way most of our cell phones are, if that makes sense. Four screws hold the piece of plexiglass in place. Put it somewhere safe. You do not want to scratch the plexiglass. There are eight of these metal screws that run along these channels holding the actual monitor into the bezel. Top to bottom is 18 and 3 quarter inches. Side to side here is 18 inches. You basically want to take this whole thing and spin it 90 degrees. But that requires we take our side that is 18 and 3 quarter inches down to about 18 inches. I recommend putting your marker on your mark first, then slide your straight edge up to it. We're going to cut off about a half inch. You can always take more off later. We're going to cut and then test fit. Try to keep your hands as far from the blade as possible when cutting. Here's that little channel. Even though the factory one has these small little divots to help it fit, this is still going to fit just fine. I like to slide the bezel up so it lines up with the marquee here to complete a corner. Since a little bit of the bezel will be poking out from behind the plexiglass, we're going to hit it with some black paint. Do not slide the plexi flat across the table saw because you're going to put scratches in it. Trust me, it's going to make it look really bad. I'm going to screw the plexi down onto a piece of wood that I don't care about. We're going to cut just under one and a half inches off of this plexiglass. Here's a trick you don't need a measuring tape for. Take a piece of paper or cardboard or something with at least one straight edge. Take your knife, blade, scissors, whatever, and cut down the edge of the plexi. Now take it to the side we're going to cut and make your marks. Now the measurements will be exactly the same on both sides of the plexiglass. Now screw the piece of plexi down to our sacrificial wood. This will keep you from scratching the plexi and it's going to make it less likely you're going to get a crack or shatter it. Have I just slapped a piece of plexiglass onto a piece of cardboard and sent it through the table saw? Yes. But because I'm putting this on the internet, I want the end product to be as close to perfect as possible. Let's get the monitor back in and check the fitment of the plexi. I'm putting down a piece of foam because I really don't want this monitor getting scratched. Check for this L on the left side and R on the right side. Look for the black trim on the inside of the monitor. Line it up in the corners and it should be a perfect fit. Drill new holes where you need them, so go slow and use a small bit. All right, let's be honest. It looks a little weird, right? The monitor is how we want it, but the artwork is turned 90 degrees. I sold cabs like this to a few customers who didn't care about the way this looks, but me? I care. With a little extra time and money, you can put a wrap on top of this. It won't sit perfectly on these edges, so I recommend cutting the artwork at the edge of the plexi. I think it makes everything look a little bit cleaner, even though the art won't quite fill up the entire space. You can also mask off the monitor area and spray paint black if you want. I recommend you build up lots and lots of light coats. Test fit the monitor for the last time, and we're almost done. The holes for these brackets also got flipped 90 degrees. So make a couple shallow pilot holes and drill in your screws. Make sure this top piece is in place before tightening it down or you'll have to take it apart again to fix it. So I'm guessing most of you watching this are rotating the monitor to put a Raspberry Pi in it to switch your vertical arcade into a horizontal arcade. You can obviously touch this up any way you want to. You can paint the bezel, you can do new artwork, you can, you can do whatever. But one of the reasons people are avoiding 
these vertical cabinets, and one of the reasons you can get them so cheap, they're not good candidates for most modifications. As long as you have the tools and the time, this modification costs you nothing. This costs you zero dollars. And it took me about an hour. I've done it faster, but I was taking my time. I was working the camera. I was trying to make sure I did everything as perfectly as I could. And this is something you can do too. If you have access to a table saw, you can absolutely do this yourself. If you're worried about the plexi, go to Lowe's or Home Depot, have them cut you a new piece of plexi. Or take some foam board or some cardboard, paint it black, cut it out with scissors, slap it up there with duct tape. The important thing is, you can do this. Follow my guide, go slowly. If you want to learn how to perform other modifications on your Arcade 1UP, I've got a playlist you should check out. And if you're wondering, hey, I've got this thing built, now what do I play? I do a ton of reviews on old school retro games. One last thing, I'm giving away an arcade machine to a subscriber. I'm almost done shooting a video on how to make your own arcade for under $100. And then, I'm giving away the machine from the video. Details on how to enter that giveaway will be at the end of that video. So hit the bell notification so you don't miss your chance. You can also check out the playlist here of the other arcade 1UP modification videos I've made. Have a great day.